In this video, I'm going to show you the very basics of 1Password by Agile Web Solutions. I'm going to start this video off with what it would look like if you were using 1Password for the very first time. When you first open the program, 1Password will ask you if you want to install browser extensions. We do want the browser extensions so that we can use 1Password's tools while filling out forms and registrations on the web. The first thing we need to do is create our master password. This is actually the only password we'll ever have to remember if we use this program. Type in your master password and then retype it in again. You can type in a password hint if you think you might forget your password, but this field is only optional. Then click on the Start Using 1Password button. You will then be prompted to type in your master password once again. To get started, the first thing we'll do is create an identity for ourselves. So click on the Identity button and then you can begin filling in the form. The more fields that you fill in now, the less amount you'll have to fill in later on when you're filling out forms on different websites. For this demonstration, I will only fill in a few fields so that you can get a good idea of what to expect when you do it yourself. So now that our identity is created, let's go see how 1Password eases the process for filling out forms. Using Gmail as our example, we'll create a new account and fill the form by clicking on the 1Password button up at the top of the web browser and then selecting Fill on the identity name that you just created. The information that you filled into your identity will now show up in the selected fields. You'll notice that in some scenarios not all fields will be filled out. In this example I'm going to type in my own desired login name. Some of the other fields are blank as well so I'll go ahead and fill those in. Now that all my information has been filled in I'm ready to create my account. When I do create my account, a 1Password toolbar will pop up asking me if I would like to save my login. I do want to save it so that the next time I log in, I won't have to type in my username and password. I will now show you that process. Once I'm at the login page, I will click on the 1Password button in my web browser and then select Login with Google and 1Password will now fill in my login details and automatically sign me in. So that's a basic way of using 1Password without getting too complicated. Next, I want to show you how you can use 1Password to save you time when making online purchases. The process is very similar to the one I just showed you. Click on the wallet item, and for this example we'll add a credit card. Now we'll fill in all of our information, and for this card I'm going to name it Personal, and I'll just fill in some of the fields so that I can show you what it will look like in our web browsers. The most important pieces of information that we need to put in are the cardholder's name, the type of credit card, the credit card and verification numbers, as well as the expiration date. So I'm just going to fill in some made up information here so that when I go to my web browser, you'll be able to see where this information comes from when I use the 1Password web browser extension. Down at the bottom of this form, there are also buttons for adding more information. Uh, these are only optional, so I'm going to leave them blank. So now I'll save this and head over to my web browser. I'll click on the 1Password button and then select Fill Personal, which is the credit card account I just made. And now my credit card information has appeared on this form and I don't need to reach into my wallet and pull out my card to read off the numbers. One more thing that I want to quickly show you could be very useful if you need to fill in a form but you either don't have an identity created or you don't want to use that information in your identity. Click on the 1Password button and select Strong Password Generator. A window will pop up that will allow you to create a password for this form. You have the options of choosing the length and strength of the password. You can also copy the password or click the Fill button which will put the password in the password fields on the form. You can then fill out the form as normal which I will skip right now just to speed this up for you and then register and click on the Save button on the 1Password toolbar just as we did before. So those are some basic ways of using 1Password. If you want to learn more with our video tutorials, visit www.aptorial.com.